Are you looking for a guitar tool repair kit to service, repair, or maintain your instrument? I got one for you, coming right up. All right, what I got here is a 44 piece guitar tool set by Time Set L. We're gonna get it down on the floor, open it up, see what it has in it, and talk a little bit about it. So let's check it out. Let's get down there. Okay, here we are with the 44 piece guitar tool kit. Comes in a nice nylon case, padded and pretty sturdy to protect these tools. Zips up and has a carry handle on the end. On the inside, you have a string cleaner and lubricant. It's a felt material that's saturated with lubricant partially covered in plastic so it doesn't dry out on you. I tend to find if you keep these capped up, they last a pretty long time, just like a stick of fast fret or something like that. And if it does start to fray or dry out on the end, you just snip it down and peel as you go. I think that'll last a pretty long time. There's a six piece hex wrench set. You can use this for adjusting truss rods, all the little set screws you might find on bridges to adjust intonation and string height. There's a string cutter. You could also use this for pulling a nut if you were gonna replace a nut on say a Fender style guitar where they're set down in there in the fretboard. String winder, pretty standard. Also has the notch to pull the pegs from an acoustic guitar. Moving on, you have a set of two fret gaskets. You would put these over the frets if you were going to grind or polish them to protect your fretboard. If you were to do something like that, I'd also recommend putting some tape and flaring that out for extra protection. It's always worth having a little extra insurance when you're working on your instrument. We spend a lot on our instruments and wouldn't want to mess them up for a simple repair. Which is going to bring me over here to this 10-piece file set. These are files for grinding down edges of frets or crowning. There's all different shapes to accommodate many different types and styles and sizes of frets. After filing, you might want to move on to something a little less gritty, like this sanding sponge here. Same sandpaper type material on all sides. It's soft to give a little give and conform to the shape of whatever you're using it on. After that, you might want to move to this cleaning cloth to clean that stuff off of there. Underneath there is a set of nine string radius gauges. They will accommodate most radiuses of fretboards. You would put this under your string and lift up to see the radius of the strings so you could properly set your string height so you get the best action and playability. Underneath there is a string action ruler. Let's set these here. String action ruler measuring in both inches and millimeters. It has all different types of gauges here, so you can use the one that best suits you. It also has a string action at 12 fret table on back for recommended string heights for electric, acoustic, and bass guitars. Now you could also use this kit for ukuleles, mandolins, and things like that. Even though you might not have all the tools to work on, say, a bass guitar with thicker strings in the case of the files that I'm going to get to in a second here. We might as well look at those now. These are nut files. I measured these with my micrometer and they go from 0.9 all the way up to 0.52 which will accommodate most string sets for electric and acoustic guitars. If you were to file a new nut or maybe do a little adjustment on an existing one you would set this in your little notch and file away. I'm going to do a nut replacement on my Fender Strat pretty soon and I think I'm going to use this kit and film it to give you an idea of what it can be used for. Moving down the line, there's a nice set of feeler gauges here in a plastic pouch. I noticed they had oiled these up here too to keep them from rusting out or anything like that in transit. They should last quite a long time. Pretty standard set like you would get at any tool department. Next to that is a grinding stone for grinding down fret edges and such. And last but not least, 
set of six string pegs for acoustic guitar if you happen to lose or break one while you're working on it. I noticed that this set is not currently available on Amazon, which I usually link to. So in my description, I'm going to link just to the category for string or guitar toolkits. So you can check those out for yourself. But this will give you a good idea of what you get in there and what these things are used for. It isn't quite luthier quality, which those tools tend to be very expensive, but at $35, this is a great kit and I couldn't pass it up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click a like if you did. I'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and I will see you again soon. Peace.